guys, my name is Carlos. Today's a maintenance day on my 2019 Can-Am X3. I'll be showing you step by step on how to change the oil. There's some stuff you're gonna be needing for the oil change. Oil, oil filter, parts cleaner, a ratchet, eight inch socket, 10 inch socket, 17 inch socket, an extension, a towel, some gloves, and remember to wear some old clothes because it's gonna get messy. So the drain plugs are located right in the middle of the car, right in this location here. Uh, you'll be needing, there's two little drain plugs. One is a 17 inch and one's the eight inch. So just go ahead and loosen that out and let the, drain, let the oil drain out. So those are the two drain plugs. I have already loosened them up. One is the 12 inch, the smaller, sorry, the eight inch, the smaller one and the 17 inch. I will loosen up the eight inch first and let that drain and then loosen up the 17 inch. It is gonna get messy, so be prepared. It's making a mess. It's all over the place, all over the skid plate. So this is where the oil filter is located. Um, for any specifications on torquing, please refer to your manual. And I recommend taking out the skid plate because if not, you do make a big mess. So in the future, I will be making a video on, well, let me know if you guys are interested on doing an oil change with, without the skid plate, because if that's the case, I could do that. Because I will be doing that in the future instead of just doing the oil change with the skid plate on. Now remember, the open area here goes down. So just remember, try to snug it in there. There is oil in there, so. So I just used the screws to help me out. Um, what I did, I cut out the screws loose and just tighten them evenly. And the cap is sitting flush now. So in order to get to the dipstick, um, I'm gonna be removing the, the, the ducts here. Um, these hoses here, I'm gonna have to remove these because I don't have a long enough uh, funnel. So I'm gonna have to remove them. I'm using a flathead, but it's a Phillips. Now, here's the dipstick in here. Hopefully let's get my funnel. So you can see my funnel will fit there. Make sure to get one of these. It's a lifesaver.